Hey everyone, how are you guys today? Hopefully good. I'm going to be doing a relationship oracle reading today. I'm going to be playing with my new deck, so bear with me. And it's going to be for the week. It's going to be from May 21st to May 28th. So yeah, I'm going to pick three cards for the beginning, the middle, and the end of the week. So yeah. I've been dying to play with these cards for a while, but I've been sick. I ended up, well, not really sick. I ended up hurting my shoulder and yeah, did something. I don't know what I did, so can't really explain. So yeah. All right. Let's pick three cards. Here's one. Shuffle and then we'll pick two. And then we'll pick another one. And three. All right. Let's see what the first card has to tell us for this week. We have love who you are. You are divine, delightful, and deserving of the wonderful things life has to offer. So basically, it's just telling you to love who you are. If you're in a great relationship or even if you're not in a relationship, just love who you are because chances are the person that you're with is going to love you for who you are. So yeah, I will read that quickly. And that is eight. Let's see. Get their version of it. All right. Eight. Be your own advocate. Believe in yourself, love who you are, and the energy of self-love will help you to realize your dreams. When was the last time you gave yourself a pat on the back or acknowledged that you love yourself? Working on having a good relationship with yourself will enable you to have a positive relationship with others. Didn't I just say that? Did I just say that? How you manage your self-worth is crucial to how you view the world and your place in it. Love begins and ends with you. How you treat and feel about yourself is of paramount importance. Love is contagious. When you are surrounded by people who are full of love, you may find it easier to love who you are. Which is so true, guys. A madden extends from the bow of a ship into the heavens. The ship on a rough ocean can mirror the need to amp up your practice of self-love. As you extend your focus to higher possibilities, the waters in your emotions will calm and the journey of life will be more aligned with all your dreams, all you dream about. So yeah, so love yourself guys. All right, so that's for the beginning of the week. Let's go on to the middle of the week. We have look to your inner strength. You are stronger than you realize. This is so true. You know, we go through so many hot, you know, hardships, uh, whether it's in friendships, relationships, or just, you know, yourself, you know, and we don't realize that we have that inner strength to do the things that we have to do. It could be anything. You could be fighting a cold. You could be trying to, you know, do something that you've never done before and you don't think you have the strength to do it. But yeah, you have the inner strength. You know, if you believe in yourself, things happen. I will read that quickly because, like I said, I like to see what they have to say because it's a new deck, so we can learn together. Alrighty. The angels are asking you to dig deep inside your inner self. The strength is in you. Though it may not feel like it right now, you will be able to push through this Believe in yourself and know already have the power you need within you. When you are in a state of empowerment, you can live from a natural state of peace. Being stressed or afraid is not a natural way of living. Try to figure out what is challenging you and disconnect from whatever it created stress. Creating step stress. Yeah, let me spit that out, guys. Establish boundaries and take back your personal power. This is an ideal time to develop a new way of thinking. What has been dominating your thoughts... Are you caught up in old patterns? You have control over your feelings. Remind yourself that you have the inner strength to tackle whatever you are currently facing. A crown goddess is holding a delicate and translu translucent ball in her hands. At the center of the ball, there is a solitary female. 
This may refer to feeling small or black. The emphasis of the goddess crown symbolizes higher knowing. You have more power than you realize. Believe in your inner strength. Always believe in yourself. Always. All right. So that's for the middle of the week. And now we move on to the end of the week. And it's be supportive. Make a genuine effort to show you care. This is where any kind of relationship, it could be friendships, a relationship, it could be, you know, hanging out with just yourself or whatever, but be supportive with everybody, even yourself, you know? <laughs> so yeah. All right, let's read that one. 45, I believe. Yeah. All right. Some extra support and care is all that is needed. Encouragement, or encourage someone and recognize the effort they are making. Being supportive will help create harmony and peace. Just as the angels support us in all things, be willing to support the ones you love. Always, always support them. Find something that interests your partner, whether they are passionate about a charitable cause, a sport, a hobby. Take an interest in their endeavors. Make a point of showing up and helping out. It is easy to avoid taking part because you don't share an interest or pastime. Learn about why someone is so passionate about what they are doing. Could be anything, guys. This type of support can really mean the world to someone and foster better communication and appreciation. With time, this might be something you enjoy too. An angel with rainbow Huge wings carries a maiden protectively through the night sky. Rainbows and rainbow colors signify new opportunities ahead for you. In this card, it means you will find ways to be more encouraging to the important individuals in your life. It is always reassuring to know there is someone who supports you. So true, you know? All right, let's, let's see. Let's just see what else. Throw out a tarot card out there for the week. So, yeah. I don't know. I'm going to like these relationship cards, you know? Do more relationship uh, readings. All right. What do you have to tell us for the week, tarot cards? What does a tarot have to tell us for the week? I cannot shuffle for the life of me today. I don't know why. I think it's just because I'm not feeling good. All right, let's see. The Empress. Lavish abundance, give birth to your dreams, nurture yourself and others. So just, you know, take time this week to nurture you, others around you. So yeah, just take that time. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy. If so, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share. And hopefully I'll talk to you in a couple of days. We'll see how the show does feeling it's all like messed up I don't know what I did to it so you know how that goes all right guys stay safe have fun and thank you for watching Mwah. bye